you know what's disrespectful it's disrespectful that my hair is actually like long back and flip it but i can't flip it because it's in its natural state like that's really disrespectful like i should be able to flip my hair like Today, I am trying rice water. I mean, finally, because I've been trying to do this for like, literally for like two to three years. I've been thinking I'm gonna do it. But today is finally the day. I prepared the rice water. I'm going to try it. I'm really excited. So my goal for this year is to grow my hair as long as possible because I want to straighten, I want to straighten it in December. I haven't shaved my hair for about six years ever since I graduated high school, so it's been a long time. It's gonna be almost seven years by that time. So you guys, it's just time, like it's time. So I'm like, I'm gonna go on a, you know, healthy growth, what am I saying right now? Length retention journey, I don't know what they call it on here, but I'm just trying to get my hair long enough so I feel, feel like proud of it when I straighten it. You know that feeling? So I've been natural for a very long time, but I think my problem is I don't retain my length very well. So, and I always like cut my hair myself, which is probably not good, but when I cut it, I cut it a lot because nobody has time for that end, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm chatting. Let's just get right into it. I'm going to tell you guys what I'm going to do, my process, and also put it in my hair, and then we're going to see the results, okay? So, I'm going to do a length check, a length check, a length check really quickly. I've honestly never done this before in my life, like, so here we go. My first official length check. So... Should be fun times. My hair is, I just washed it a couple of days ago. I didn't put literally anything in it after I washed it. So this is my dry hair right now. Um, this is my curl pattern. I have 4C hair. I don't know what that white stuff is. I think it was my, I think it's like fur from my C. But anyway, I have 4C hair. Here's my curl pattern. So as you can see, it um, shrinks very, very easily. I, it's because it's, it's kind of stretched out because I had it in twist and then i put it up in a poof because i recorded a video earlier but um yeah this is my curl pattern and then i checked my porosity also for the first time because they say that apparently um i think it's supposed to be high porosity here is best for this um i think it's high because it's linked to the bottom but then i looked again and it was like in the middle so it might be like middle porosity i don't know y'all i never did this before so i don't know i don't really care about all that like hair porosity stuff i just treat my hair kind of nice and then hope for the best I'm kidding but no i really just don't touch my hair that's how i grow my hair but i want some more left retention because what's this like all right so we're gonna go ahead and measure our hairs measure our hairs okay so maybe i should put some water in it or something because i need some more stretch here on this side my hair goes down to about here and i'm not wearing a bra i don't know if that's tmi but i'm not wearing a bra just for your reference i guess i don't know if that's a reference oh my god i'm too much okay so it's right there. I'm going to grab some measuring tape. Oh my gosh, how do people do this? They make it look so easy, but like, huh? I'm gonna put it to my scalp. You got a little bit shorter than 13 inches. And so there was my finger, like right there. Can this please focus? There we go. Here's the 13. Here was my finger. So maybe it's more like 12 and a half. Okay. That's that side. Let me do this side and let me do the front. This is so much work. I'm already tired. I'm so dramatic. Wow. Okay. Here's the side. Wait, let me just stretch it down so you see where it is. And I'll try to wear the same shirt so that way like it's I can do a side by side. But again, my hair is like right there on this side. Okay, and then I'm gonna get measuring tape. This side is longer, you guys. So this side is almost at 13 and a half. So it's a little bit shorter than 13 and a half. It right there. So basically, it hits my chest in the front. I look c c crazy. Okay, that is at exactly thirteen. 
Okay, so what happened to this side of my hair? Because, huh? And then I'm gonna do the crown of my hair as well. And then we go and put this rice water in. Okay. Okay, so my 15 and like almost a half. Can you guys tell I'm great at measuring? Okay, so you guys got the measurements. So I'm just about to make this um, rice. I'm going to be using some long grain pulver rice. I was trying to find an empty jar in the house and I couldn't find one because we always have these like empty peanut butter jar jars. But my, my mom uses them for like traditional spices. I just transferred some to this um, pot right here. I'm going to close it because it's only for two days, right? Sorry, mom. If you're Cameroonian and you know what um, kwakuku is, wait. No, this this one is for Linkui. So if you're Cameroonian from Bamlike tribes and you know Linkui, yeah, those are the spices for it. But anyway, I'm going to transfer this into a smaller pot and then I'm going to just wash this jar and use it. So I'm going to let you guys just watch me. I'm going to wash the rice first and then I'm going to pour the rice in here, probably to about like eh, here. And then um, I'll pour some more rice on top of it and then I'll close it so I can leave it to ferment for about 24 hours. And then I will start the process. I'm really excited, you guys. But sorry, mom. I had to grow this hair. So I hope you don't mind if you're watching this. I love you, boo. Mwah. <laughs> Let me stop. All right, let's get started. All right, you guys, I just went ahead and put it in the jar and I put it through the window because I don't know, child, my hair is telling me to, so I'm gonna do just that. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it there for about 24 to 48 hours. As you guys saw in my clip, you guys saw how I prepared the rice water. I think I just like didn't have a big enough jar. I could have put more water because I feel like this is very concentrated, but that's fine. But I'm gonna talk to you about my planned process here, okay? So I'm gonna have this in for two weeks, okay? Today is. Today is today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. I let this sit for 48 hours. Here's my first batch, okay? I'm gonna put this all in my hair and then I'm scared because I don't wanna because my hair's like really dry, as you guys saw. It's like really dry right now. So I'm gonna put this in and I don't wanna just put this in just in case like my hair reacts bad to it. So I'm going to put this I literally never use this, but I'm going to put this leave-in conditioner from Cantu Shea Butter. I've had this for forever because I use it when I don't want to use anything else in my hair. No offense, can't do it. It's just like, I don't like that it leaves like um, white residue in my hair. But anyway, I'm going to put this in my hair and leave it in because I think that um, it will prevent my hair from getting brittle just in case that um, this makes my hair really, really dry. So these are my two. This is my combination. I'll leave this in overnight. And then tomorrow night after work, so in 24 hours tomorrow, I'm going to wash it out because I don't want my hair to crack, okay? I don't want to pour it too overload. So I'm going to wash it out and then just like um, moisturize my hair as usual. I'll probably show you guys what I'm going to use, but it's probably just going to be like oils because I don't waste my time. And then probably just add some castor oil and then twist it up. And then in a week, so next Tuesday, so what I did was added, um, I used that rice. I reused the rice that was already soaked up. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but I did it because I didn't want to... Again, I didn't want to be protein overload, so I didn't want to get more rice. So what I did is use the rice that was already that I used for this rice water and added more water for it to ferment even further. And then I'll use that rice water to do this all over again. Tuesday. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna do this treatment, I guess, twice. So it'll be twice overnight, and then we'll see the results after a week from next Tuesday. So in two weeks. Does that make sense? So I'm gonna do two rice water treatments, both overnight in the course of two weeks to see my results okay and if this works i'm going to do it probably once a month because again i want to straighten my hair in december and i want it to be popping okay so yeah so um i'm going to wow my hair is so not detangled right now i am going to just part randomly you guys know that you guys know that awkward feeling when you just hear your hair cracking and you're just like that's not supposed to be happening but you're just like oh well that just happened right now. All right. Oh my god. This. Okay. Also, pro tip: put put like some kind of um peel in your rice water when you ferment it. I forgot to do that, and it smells. It's actually not that bad. Like people like hype it up on YouTube. It's like it smells bad, but it doesn't smell that bad. I only fermented mine for forty eight hours, so maybe if I did more, then it'd be like really bad. But if you put like or orange peel or some kind of peel in it, it might help. But I'm just gonna suck it up. 
Okay, I don't want to get on my chair. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get a blanket because I don't want to just get on my chair because my chair is super precious for that. One second. Got a towel because I do not want to snick up my chair. What is that? Hey guys, so it is finally after day. I'm really excited to measure my hair one more time. So it's been about like two and a half weeks. I never got to do it. So today is Sunday. I was supposed to do it last Tuesday. Um, so I actually ended up putting it in last night, which was Saturday night. Washed it out Sunday night. So I'm about to get, show you guys the result. So it's actually been about two and a half, a little bit more than two and a half weeks. But I, like I said, I explained to you guys my process before. I put it in two and a half weeks ago on a Tuesday night. Washed it out Wednesday night. Um, I waited all this time. I didn't really put literally anything in my hair. I think I just moisturized it um, with shea butter. And then I put it in again what, Wow, yesterday night, which was Saturday night, and washed it out Sunday night. So first, um, I'm going to tell you guys my impressions about the rice water. I was very, very su surprised to find that this stuff was like really, 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 um, it was like, it made my hair feel really soft and like really elastic. Um, so it's a really good protein treatment. I think I'll probably keep doing this maybe like once every month or if not once every other month. Because I do want to start um, implementing aloe vera into my regimen as well i'm trying to grow this hair you guys i'm trying to grow we're trying to straighten our hair in december so i'm trying to, try to grow this hair um but yeah so that was like very very surprising to me i don't know why i thought it was not going to be but yeah and i can tell my hair is a lot stronger like when i'm detangling my hair i don't feel like it's gonna break off it doesn't break off as much and my hair is like very very prone to breakage so this is like really good um but yeah i really really like it it stink y'all when i did the second time like i let it since i like didn't do it when i was supposed to i let it like sit for much longer and it stink and i think going forward i'll make sure to use like the lemon peel or like orange peel to, to like make it more citrusy and not stinky but anyway here's my shrunken hair that i just washed hope you guys can see but just so you can see you guys can see my texture a little bit Okay, there's that. So let's do the measurements. So on this side, I was 12 and a half inches before. I'm like watching the video on my computer just because I want to see like the measurements. Um, so let's remeasure. And I'm wearing the same shirt for you guys' reference. I don't know if it'll help. But oh my gosh. My oh my gosh. <laughs> my hair was like right here and now it's going below all the words. Are you kidding? Whoa, okay, okay, let's measure it. Wow, you guys, my hair is at 13 and a half inches. So it grew an inch in two and a half weeks. Whoa, okay, so that's that side. Let's check the other. All right, for this side, I remember this side was longer. I just watched my little video and it was at 13 and a half. So let's see where it's at right now. Let me pull it down so you guys can see where it is on my shirt. Oh my god, my hair actually grew and I'm like really shook. It's like down there now, just crazy. Okay, so then let's measure. Like right before the 14 inch line, so it didn't grow as much because this was, it was already at almost 13 and a half. So that's weird, I guess. My hair grows at different rates, I don't know. So let's check at the very front now. This is where it's at right now. So before it was just touching my chest, now I can touch my chest and like stretch it down like that, which is super exciting. All right, so before my front was at exactly 13 inches. 
so let's measure the after all right you guys my front is now at a little bit over 14. This all right you guys my camera died but i want to finish this video so i was measuring the very top of my hair which before was i mean check all right so before it was at 15 and like almost a half i said so let's measure the very top of my head And now it is at 16. This is crazy. So, you guys, I'm actually very excited. Like, my hair literally grew an inch basically all around my head. Except for here, it was, like, almost an inch. Which, like, I don't care. It's been, like, two and a half weeks. I've been in quarantine. I've been doing nothing. Okay? Like, I just put rice water in my hair. And it grew. That's about it. I'm sorry. I look absolutely crazy. I'm much more stressed my hair and blow up my life but like yeah i think that um if you're having trouble like maintaining or retaining length i think you should definitely try rice water my hair literally feels so much stronger you guys saw my texture it's always been really really um thick it gets matted really quickly um yeah but i feel like the rice water really helped me be able to tangle my hair quicker my hair literally feels stronger it's crazy so i don't want to keep doing it too frequently because i don't want my hair to get so strong that it's like brittle and then it breaks by itself but i'm really excited you guys i'm definitely going to be trying this again because we are trying to grow this hair so you can straighten in december so you guys stay tuned for that subscribe if you're interested like, again i don't know if i said it before but i do videos all for young professionals um i post about my work life i'm a manager consulting i post about my faith journey um and yeah like fun stuff like that i also have some workout videos as well so if you guys have any video suggestions that you would like me to do please let me know in the comments or you can slide in my dms on instagram at queen danny 237 on there i post more about my personal life and just what i'm learning on a daily basis what i'm doing my crazy weird self you feel me so if you guys are interested in any of those things please make sure to subscribe and join this kingdom because over here we reign okay we reign um if you don't know where to start i'll go to my playlist i have all my videos nicely organized in playlists you guys can see um what are the different things i do on this channel so yeah let's have some fun together and stay tuned because i think i'm going to be trying aloe vera next on my hair anyway thank you guys so much for watching please share this video so we can get out here and grow our hair because rice water works it works yes you know what's disrespectful it's disrespectful that my hair is actually like long that i can flip it but i can't flip it because it's in its natural state like that's really disrespectful like i should be able to flip my hair like Anyway, bye y'all, thanks for watching. <laughs>